What up guys? So this is a super random spur of the moment video, but there's a V8 AMG. I don't know exactly what it is. I'll do some research after this is all done, but he keeps wanting a toy, keeps wanting a race. So I'm gonna throw on the GoPro. I'm in my Evo right now, my 515 whatever horsepower Evo X and uh, do some pulls with him. Let's see what happens. As you guys saw when we got when we were getting on the freeway it was like dead even i don't know how much horsepower that thing makes but that thing is fast unfortunate thing is i don't know if you guys saw the gopro footage when we were getting on the freeway he hit a board the board kicked up and smashed my front end i'm not sure exactly what's going on and now my car is running like complete shit. i don't know if he ripped off the lowered intercooler pipe or not i'm gonna pull over right now and let's go check out the damage see what's going on Oh my lord guys, front end is down, that f***ing sucks, it broke the canard it looks like, oh that canard is destroyed, ripped my quick release out of the body of the car, damn, I'm gonna replay that GoPro footage, slow it down where you can see that freaking board he kicked up. Gosh damn, anything else going on? Yeah, it hit, hit this side right here. That sucks. God damn. I guess that is the price you pay when you're messing around on, on the roads in Mexico. I don't know why he even like hit the board. Like, he could have used the gun around it. But what, at least from my point of view, he could have used the gun around it. I don't know if he's just trying to pick up my car or not. But right now this thing's running like absolute shit. The check engine light just popped on. Basically what it's doing it idles fine, but when I'm cruising around at like 3,000 RPM, the AFRs are tripping out. It honestly sounds like a gnarly misfire, so I don't. I hope I didn't destroy some in the engine. That would suck. Like the way it's idling and everything is like, like. It sounds like a Subaru. No shit, it sounds like a fucking Subaru right now. This is not good. Straight home. 
right now with the car. When we get home, we can scan it, see what's going on. Hopefully it's nothing major. It's like, it's super intermittent as to like what it's doing, kind of cutting out. Sound, it literally sounds like a Subaru, it's really weird to say. But it's like, it, it's gotta be some sort of misfire. I'm guessing I'm gonna throw a misfire code, but I'll update you guys when we get home. This is like a shitty situation though. Damn. You know what I'm gonna do real quick before I head home and just put like 30 more miles on this thing. I'm gonna stop, pull over, check all the vacuum lines, uh, try to get to that lower air cooler pipe, see if that's still on the car. I have an extra fuel pump relay in here as well. And I'm gonna swap that out if all the vacuum lines and, and boost lines are on. Let's go check this thing out. Hopefully it's something stupid like that. That'd be super nice. But yeah, this thing's running like dog shit. I don't see anything weird or abnormal going on, so I am gonna swap out my fuel pump relay. I highly doubt that's the issue, but I have one, so I might as well try it. All of my vacuum lines and everything were still on the car. Nothing weird going on down there, so. I don't know, I just need to get home, get this thing scanned, but I really don't want to cause any more damage on the way home. So I'm back home. I'm not sure what's going on with the car. I don't have time to diagnose it today, unfortunately. I was gonna pull in the shop and get to work, but I promised Bobby, I promised my girlfriend that I would spend some time with her today because it's like one of her only days off of work or she, she didn't really work much today. So I don't have time to diagnose the car today, unfortunately. I really freaking want to, but I can't just sit there knowing my motor's blown up and not like wanna pull it out and work on it. I don't know if you guys understand that. That's just how I am. So what I'm gonna do is end this video right here. Shitty situation. Never in a million years thought this would happen, just doing a pull on the road, on the street. Potentially fucked up my motor, destroyed the front end of my car, ripped off a canard, like shattered a canard. That's the price you pay, guys, honestly. Like, it's, it is all fun and games until shit like that happens. Damn. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. Should make for some good content. I got, hold up, I have some, some important news. So I put a thing on my story, if you guys followed me on Instagram, trying to figure out who the hell drives that AMG. All right guys, I need your help. Who in Spokane drives a all black AMG with green calipers? All black no other than green calipers. Looks sick as fuck, fast as hell. Who are you? I need to know, because that thing gets down. I got a little hint, I got a tip saying, someone knows who he is, I've talked to him. The car makes 680, listen to this, 680 horsepower out the wheels. Did you guys see me get, get on the highway with him? We were neck and neck, honestly, we were neck and neck. There was a few poles, he took off way the hell before me, and obviously he smoked me because it's a V8, and I have a big ass turbo, it takes forever to spool, but when I was like in boost, we were neck and neck. This thing's 515 horsepower, that car made 680 supposedly. I really wanna find this guy, sit down, have a conversation with him about his car, and maybe when this thing's back up and running, we can do some more poles, like actual legit poles, go to the track or something, it'd be a damn good time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you so much for watching. Overall, pretty shitty day with Eva, but it is what it is. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.